Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another learning video. Do you know that few weeks back, US FDA has issued Form 483 to Cadilla Healthcare? I guess those who are working in US FDA approved plants, they might be aware of this. Well friends, Gerard Injectable Facility of Cadilla Healthcare was inspected by US FDA in the month of Feb. Gerard is a place near to Brodra, Gujarat, where Injectable Facility of Cadilla Healthcare was inspected by US FDA from 24th of Feb to 10th of March 2022. It was almost 10 days audit if you exclude Saturdays and Sundays. There was one auditor who conducted the audit and his name was Salim A. Akhtar. Auditor has given three observations and observations were mainly related to quality system and facility and equipment system. So let us go through the details of the observations one by one. Observation number one. The written stability program is not followed. Specifically, the stability program was not followed to complete the stability samples testing within the predefined time frame. Auditor found that approximately 250 samples were not analyzed as per the time mentioned in the stability management SOP. Here you can see the list of the samples which are mentioned by the auditor in the form 483. Observation number 2. Second observation is related to APQR. Annual Product Quality Review. Where APQR of few of the products were not completed within the timeline as mentioned in the APQR SOP. If you go through the form 483, then you will find that approximately 7 products are mentioned in the form 483 for which APQR was not completed within the predefined timeline. For example, this product. APQR should complete by 19th of December 2020, but APQR was completed on 24th of Feb 2021. So there was a delay of almost 67 days. Likewise, you can see remaining examples also. So these were the two observations which were related to quality system. Now comes the last observation which is related to facility and equipment system. Under this observation, it is stated that welding used for manufacturing and processing of the drug product was not maintained in a good state of repair. Actually what happened during the manufacturing area round, auditor observed a scratch with the missing paint in the compounding room. Along with that, missing paint was also observed on the top of the HEPA filter. In addition to this, auditor observed that sealant around the inlet and outlet tubing of the compounding vessel was not smooth, due to which surface was hard to clean. So guys, these were the three observations which were issued to Cadida Healthcare. If you want more details about these observations, then you can find the link given in the description or you can visit the USFDA website to download the form 483. So guys, this is it for today. Hope you have learned something new today. Bye-bye and happy learning.